So this is Bobby and Luna's uh, eating and toilet area. Around about um, 10 to 20 percent of leafy greens. Um, I've just got some mixed greens, a mixed gourmet salad from Coles or Woolworths. Um, a tiny weeny little bit of uh, pellet. Uh, I use Oxbow. I'll show you a little bit later. Um, they've eaten most of this. Hello, Luna. Hello, Bobby. <laughs> uh, their water bowl. A little bit of chaff, uh, which is just pretty much cut up hay. As you can see, they love this stuff. And the main event, the litter boxes filled with hay. Uh, now you want a good grass hay, such as uh, Timothy hay or um, Oaten hay, or sometimes even m meadow hay. So basically your bunnies will eat where they poop and do their business. So you want to have um, quite a lot of hay in the litter box because their diet should consist of around about 80 to 90 percent of hay. So as you can see they're very good. Um, they've been doing their business as usual in the box. As you can see, uh, Bobby's eating his hay, being a good boy. What you good boy, Bobby? You a good boy? You a good boy? Ooh. And Luna is fascinated with the hay as well. Our rabbits will actually uh, eat quite frequently d uh, during the day because they are mainly active during sunrise and sunset so you want to have 24 7 um, availability of the hay it is absolutely crucial for your rabbits diet uh, if you give them uh, more than one liter of uh, around about one liter of vegetables per kilo of um, bunny per day they might actually get sick because they're not actually supposed to have uh, too much too much vegetables as it, it can actually upset their delicate stomachs so you want to give um, around about 10 10 to 20 percent of their, their their diet with veggies so around about one uh, one one liter um, uh, for every every day of every kilo of rabbit so if your rabbit weighs two kilos you can give them um, two liters of of vegetables so, so here I've got a baking dish uh, which is around about a two liter capacity um, so I, I basically just give them twice a day Fill, fill this um, this dish with vegetables and give it to them twice a day. Now the first hay that um, I wanted to show you is called Oxbow Timothy hay. So this this is um, a very good grass hay and very popular um, all around the world. Um, so we we get it. Like as you can see, it's it's um, a much more greener sort of consistency than the. <laughs> Hello, you're eating my prop. Um, much more greener consistency than the oaten hay that I've got there. So the Timothy hay is also very good, um, obviously, but it's I think it's more common uh, in America. So um, the oaten hay is next. So the the Timothy hay. Um, is quite expensive from Oxbow. It's a, I mean, I buy it for around about forty-five dollars per um, 
per one, I think it's one, one and one and one bit of a liter or something. Oh, sorry, um, kilo or something like that. And I've got mice there. Um, the other one is um, a good um, oat and hay. So from Torwood Farm, um, I just actually bought this recently from a pet shop, um, which only very recently started stocking them, which is just fantastic because more pet shops should recognize the importance of um, hay in a rabbit's diet because it, it, it's, they need that very, very high fiber diet um, for them to stay alive um, and, and be, be healthy. It is not just a, a choice. It's um, an, an absolute necessity. So uh, oat and hay looks like this. But this is um this is the new stuff that I've been giving them and, and it normally it takes a little bit of time for them to adjust to new hay. So in my bag I usually get um around about um a meter long <laughs> a meter long bale of hay from um um a pet shop that stocks it. So this is what it looks like sort of I guess a little bit more raw than the other one because it's, it's just cut um, less uh, cut a little bit less or packed a little bit less smaller I mean packed a little bit bigger sorry um, so as you can see this is only a 22 liter but um, I've only got a little bit left of the oat and hay um, that we got from um, <laughs> the pet shop that stocked it. I'm rambling. Okay, um, the next hay that I wanted to show you is something I ordered off the internet, and it is called um, a meadow hay. So this stuff they just absolutely love. <laughs> meadow hay is um, quite good as well, and it is also a grass hay which means that bunnies can benefit uh, from the, the long strands of fiber as well. So I had to uh, learn from the hard way because I I mean there's not really that much avail readily available information especially from pet shops um, for you to care for your bunny and especially about bunny diet so I had to learn the hard way. Um, I fed Bobby a lot of vegetables and I fed him a lot of loosened hay which is um, much greener than even the, the Timothy hay but it is just a high high calcium um, hay which is not too good for bunnies. You, you don't want to feed them too much of that. But basically Bo Bobby got sick um, with gut stasis uh, which means that their gut actually stops working because they've got sticky stuff or they've got uh, things like uh, if you feed them too much fruit any more than like a piece a day a piece like this um, of fruit per day they will get sick they will uh, you you are slowly killing your bunnies and also please please stay away from those um, rabbit mixes as they have a lot of corn corn bits um, as well as um, uh, the um, uh, the bird seed type material in them which bunnies cannot have because it will cause stasis um, and it, it, it is extraordinarily costly for to to get your bunny um, well again uh, not to mention very very painful um, both for you and and for your bunny because you would have to actually um, hand feed them and force feed your bunnies because they will stop eating um, any bunny who stops eating um, in about uh, for, for around about 12 10 to 12 hours is considered an actual uh, emergency and you need to rush your your bunny to the to the emergency section of the vet if your bunny hasn't been eating for about 12 months. Uh, so this is the pellet, Oxbow pellets that I give to my bunnies. Um, if your bunny is more than a year old, 
um, you should give them, I think it's, actually I think it might be six months to a year old, let me check that and get back to you on my video, but um, it's basically like this, so you want to give each bunny, um, a, oops, each bunny around about a, a, a tablespoonful per day. So in other words, the stuff that you see in supermarkets and the th things that you buy from pet shops that has strictly pellets like this, and you feed all of this, uh, like bowls and bowls and bowls of these this pellet um, to your bunnies, uh, they, w uh, they will actually get sick because it's like feeding them McDonald's every day, all day long. Um, they might like it, like kids like McDonald's, um, but it it is definitely not good for them whatsoever and will make them very sick. Um, this is not my opinion. This is actually uh, the opinion of most most vets, um, including one of the best in this country um, for rabbit care. So that's pretty much, and can I just stress that you give your bunnies hay, hay, and more hay, um, and they will be very healthy very happy um, and they'll hop around <laughs> like this and terrorize your house all day long um, please have a look at the next video that I'll make which is about how to litter train your your bunnies but but get the get the diet right and and you will um, you will you will have very happy sort of bunnies and there's my mice running on the wheel all right thank you